spoke about the environmental impact, but I think also on the flip side of it, there's also the financial gains for the customer as well, i.e. the return on investment on, instead of sending material to landfill at high landfill charges, repurposing that material, and then in essence, selling it straight back out into the construction industry. So where's the best place to achieve 25% carbon saving you know, or, or a 25% reuse or recycling um, metric within a new build because yeah. we're not going to put recycled doors on you know so yeah. the, 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 that's the easiest place yeah. two-thirds of the waste that we generate in europe um actually globally i think is construction demolition waste so like, and there's a there's a, a method a, a process to bring that back in and use a bit use it in a highly comparable way to the virgin material and you tick all those boxes james that you mentioned yeah. and we're left then with a with a a proper, you know, circular economy. Yeah. The big problem we're probably facing, not CBD, we can do it, we've got the technology to do it and we've proven it all over the world. Um, the, the big challenge probably comes in the acceptance of those materials, probably for our customers, just getting those materials to be accepted into, not the low value, build jobs or trenching, getting them uplifted in their in the quality that they actually meet, but it's getting them accepted in the concretes and asphalts and stuff like that is probably the next step that Australia faces is just that acceptance piece.